All right, I'm back. Um, this is a new video. I'm starting on the uh, uh, the wheel cylinder, so I got Bumble Jeep up in the air. Um, got this tire broke loose. Um, I just I, I felt this worthy of mention. So I've been a fan of these Cobalt uh, cordless tools. I started out with these about seven years ago, maybe longer, with the uh, 18 volt. And uh, I got a great price on it. I bought it at the right time of year. Uh, they had another price drop in less than you know, a month after I bought them. So I went back and they gave me the, you know, refunded me the difference between the price I paid and the new price. I mean, they were great about it. And the only reason I replaced them with these 24 volt brushless tools is because um, you can't buy batteries for them anymore. And the batteries were getting weaker and weaker. You know, the tools still work great, uh, but you could smell the brushes. And the batteries weren't holding a charge anywhere near as long. I mean, they were still functional, but I just felt like I needed to get something new and the new 24 volt brushless cobalt line of tools is just amazing they have a great price on them the battery platform they have the best prices on the batteries uh, five years on the tool three years on the battery they have the best warranty of any cordless tools um, it's not to say there aren't others that match it but the ones that match that warranty five tool three battery um, they don't have the pricing that cobalt does and so anyhow I got a lot of them this is this is why I'm mentioning this one this is the half inch compact 200 foot pounds of torque I take the wheels off this Jeep off and on this Jeep with this one. I have the big one, the full size, with 600 and it's either 600 or 650 foot pounds of torque, and that will get anything but this. Uh, and the reason I bought this one, um, I was looking at the 3 8 because I had the half inch and I wanted the 3 8 and um, come back around. So, anyhow. The three eights was $129 last year when I bought these. And this one was 99. And they're very, very close in size. Uh, the, you know, the, the basic form factor or footprint that this tool takes up is basically identical to the three eights. The three eights is 150 foot pounds of torque. This is 200 foot pounds of torque. This one was $99. The other one was a hundred and some dollars. Um, so to me, that was a no brainer. Um, I have adapters. I can adapt this down to three eighths and I can use all my three eighths impact sockets with this as well as I can, you know, a regular three eighths impact. So between this one, the compact half inch, the full size half inch and the quarter inch, uh, bit driver, whatever they call those things. Um, I'm pretty much covered as far as working on cars. So there you go. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I see a lot of guys going off road with their Jeeps. I don't do it every day. This is like I said, this is my daily driver. Um, and I use that term loosely because I don't drive every day. Uh, working and living on the campus, I don't need to drive every day. I, I put just a little over 7,000 miles on this in two years, so I obviously don't drive every day. Um, but I don't see anybody taking power tools with them when they go off-roading. It's, you know, breaker bars and, and uh, ratchets and, and all these hand tools when, you know, a bag with say just even this one and the full size impact and another tool that uh, I got I got the compact reciprocating saw $99 and I bought it just the bare tool because the batteries are so cheap but you know 
either this one or the other one. The other one was like $20 more if you want the full size one and it takes the same battery. So, um, why are these guys taking hand tools? I mean, there's times you're going to need hand tools, obviously, but why not take the cordless stuff, take extra batteries, um, you know, you can get uh, some of the chargers have the option. You can run them off of your, you know, power outlets on the car. A lot of these guys I see talking about their tool bags have inverters. So if they need to plug in a battery charger and charge a battery, why would you sit there and bust your butt trying to get a wheel off in the middle of nowhere when you can just pop that thing out of your tool bag and boop, 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 boom, your wheels off? And don't, I'm not going to get started on the big high lift jacks. Um, while I appreciate their capabilities, in my mind, they're dangerous. Um, I'm going to get a jack to take with me. Uh, eventually, at some point, I'm going to go over to Lowe's. And they have a lightweight aluminum floor jack. And, uh, you know, between that and blocking and jack stands, if, you, you know, if you're concerned about it coming down, Take, even if you only take a pair of jack stands, you're, you know, you're ahead of the game already. So anyhow, um, me, if I go off-roading, I'm taking my power tools with me. I'm, you know, whether I use them for myself or I can help somebody else out. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what they say about the jeeping community is so great is the fact that, you know, everybody helps each other out. And that's a good thing. I mean, it teaches a good lesson, so... Anyhow, enough rant for one day. Um, I'm going to pause this one, put this over on the charger, and uh, get to uh, changing out this wheel cylinder. So here's a quickie. Ah, gotta love giant tires, right? And don't be impressed because I took that off with one hand. Uh, Gravity was helping me, so. And these have been off recently, so. Yep, there's the new wheel cylinder. Wow, look at all that brake dust in there. I just put these brake shoes on here, too. All right. <sighs> Gonna pause this and get some work done. I don't know how you guys film with one hand and work with the other hand it's i'm too old for that so anyhow pause <laughs> 